Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yaz, and today I want to share with you my favorites video. Now, these are just favorites from the last couple of months. I can't even really tell you for how long I've been using these products, but they've been staples in my collection for um, the last couple of months. So let's just jump right into it. The first one is my Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. I use this mainly on my lips first thing in the morning before I apply my makeup. Last thing at night before I go to bed and make sure my lips are hydrated throughout the night and it does the job. This is amazing. I also use this on my cuticles if they start to sort of crack or get irritated or just nasty looking. Um, I also use this um, on the back of my heels because sometimes shoes sort of rub at the back of my heels. Um, sort of like the back of my ankle really the back of my ankle in that area and I can get like a little blister or it can get a little rough back there and that area is like really really sensitive um, so I use this on it and it really helps so I really really like this it's an amazing sort of product um, similar I guess to like Aquaphor but I like this one a lot better maybe because it's a little bit more fancy and expensive I don't know but I like this one a lot better so um, this is a favorite Next is my deodorant. It's been really hot and humid lately, and deodorant is a must this time of the year. Um, I've kind, I've, I've pretty much have gotten to the age where I feel like deodorant is a must every day of my life. I kind of felt um, when I was younger, I didn't really have to wear deodorant. I didn't feel like I would get sweaty and smelly, but now, for whatever reason, at this point, at this point in my life, where my womanly hormones are sort of acting. I need, I need deodorant on a daily basis, maybe multiple times a day. And I love this one. I found this at Sephora. This is the La Vanilla Laboratories Healthy Deodorant Solid Stick. And this is in the Vanilla Lavender scent. I love this. This is so good. And it has a twist top, so it doesn't just pull off like some of the ones you have at the drugstore. And it smells so good. I love lavender. And vanilla is a really pretty scent as well. But ugh, lavender is like my favorite sort of like natural scent. I love it smells so good and I feel like it definitely prevents me from smelling down there and I feel like it doesn't stain your clothes if you ever worn like a white shirt and you sort of sweat profusely it can sort of stain I think that comes more from the products that you use to underneath your arms versus the actual sweat um, and I feel like this doesn't do that um, and I don't have a huge problem with that to begin with so maybe if you do um, I don't know if this would work for you but for me this is a really great product and I definitely recommend it Next is some perfumes because it's hot again. We need to smell good. This one is the Marquesa one. I love this one. I have this little one. I have a roller bowl. And I think I have a spray one as well. Um, so this, ugh, I just love it. This is the one I like to throw in my purse so I can have when I need to sort of refresh throughout the day. Love this scent. Go get a sample if you haven't tried it or spray it on yourself when you're at the department store next time because it's a really beautiful scent, a womanly scent, and I really like it. And the other perfume that I've been wearing a lot lately is another one of my favorites. And this is the Chloe perfume. And it's just amazing. It's such a beautiful scent. I can wear this year-round and not get sick of it. I love this one. Alright, I know you guys can hear the sirens. And now my dog's going to bark. And I'm really, really sorry. But I can't let it get too hot in here. Um, this is just a really beautiful scent, and if you've never tried it before, you should definitely go in and give it a try. Next is my hand sanitizer. I know it's a little random, but I sanitize my hands every time before applying my makeup and throughout the day. And this one I like to keep in my purse. It smells like lavender, which I love. And this is the Dr. Bonner's Magic um, Organic Fair Trade hand sanitizing spray and I love this. I have purchased this at Ricky's NYC and I'm almost out so I need to go on Amazon and see if I can find it because the Ricky's that was by my job which is the one I used to frequent um, closed down I think a couple of months ago. So um, that's really sad but I really like this. I should If I would have known they were closing I would have stocked up on a whole bunch of these. Um, but I'm going to check on Amazon. I bought this for $4.29 I could probably get it on Amazon for a little bit cheaper than that and with the prime benefits so I'm gonna check it out you should definitely check this out especially in the summer I feel like I get sticky all the time and, like sweaty and like I feel a little like dirty from like the commute and I feel like I need to like refreshen myself a little bit um I will throw this on my hands I even sometimes spray this on my feet if I've been walking around in like sandals and I feel like I need to refresh them a little bit if I've, I've been walking around all day in flats and I feel like they might be a little bit sweaty I'll spray this on my feet um I don't know and I don't see why you can't and I feel like it helps sort of refresh in them in the middle of the day if I've been walking around all day in some sweaty feet. Next, um, let's go to makeup. I really didn't talk much about makeup and I don't have a lot of makeup to talk about to be honest with you. Next, I have 
to Becca products. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. A lot of people love this one. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. It just, oh, it's perfect. I use it at the very top of my cheeks. I am wearing it today, but it's been a while since I've applied this makeup. Um, it's been at least probably, what time is it? It's been about 12 hours or so since I've applied my makeup, so I don't even know if you can really kind of tell. Um, beautiful highlight. Just gorgeous. I love it. It's such a beautiful highlight. And the next one is the Mineral Blush in Songbird. I love this color. It's like, oh, perfect, I think, for somewhat of my skin complexion. I don't even know if you can tell that color right there. My hand's a little bit dark, I guess. Um, but it is the blush that I'm wearing today. Again, this is like 12-hour makeup. So I this is makeup that's been worn for 12 hours at this point so I don't even know if you can tell but I am wearing that today on my cheeks and it's absolutely beautiful I think if you I think if you're of a much fairer complexion you can wear it very lightly you have to just be very careful when you tap your brush into it and if you're more of my complexion or even darker I feel like that looks beautiful on your skin it would just look amazing the next makeup product is my Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup um, I really like this one I use it with my beauty blender Mostly I use it with my beauty blender. I don't think I've ever applied it with like a buffing brush. Um, I tend to wear my more thicker foundations, my more long wearing foundations um, by applying it with the beauty blender. So I haven't I tried it with a brush but I love the way it looks with a beauty blender. I'm actually wearing this today believe it or not and I feel like it looks really really good still. Like my makeup doesn't look like it needs to be touched up or anything. I don't feel like I'm super oily in my T-zone. I'm I'm a little bit more dewy in my T-zone than when I first applied it, but I'm not oily, which I love. This one's in the color 4W2 Toasty Toffee. And I purchased this at a CCL, so I don't know if it's my perfect shade. I definitely feel like I can use this now in the summertime when I get a little bit of sun, not too much sun. And I could probably, because I use it with a beauty blender, get away with using it in the winter because it's not super heavy. Um, I really like this and you should definitely check it out if you have oily skin, if your skin gets oilier in the summer. It's a great like all day like long wearing makeup and it keeps me pretty matte so I like this. This I got I believe in my last Ipsy bag or one of my latest Ipsy bags and this is the I think you say Coats Face Natural Skin Tone Sheer Matte Finish Lightly Tinted SPF 40 UVA UVB Bought Spectrum Water Resistant up to 80 minutes like SPF. Thing, SPF like product I love this I love this for the days where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup it does have a bit of a tint to it um, and it sort of hides my pores it doesn't make me oily it doesn't feel like a SPF product because it's not like thick and oily it's like I don't know it's it's, it's kind of weird to me actually um, I really like it I don't know if it comes in a darker tint I kind of want to look for it and see I feel like maybe the darker tint will be better for me but even if this is the only tint that it comes in I love it this is all this is also great as a primer for underneath your makeup because it helps sort of prime your face so that makeup stays on longer and it helps to like blur your imperfections and your fine lines and your pores so I really like this definitely give this a try um, let's keep going with skincare I guess this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel with hyaluronic acid and I love this because I am super oily and I love using the gel based um, moisturizers I feel like it just seeps right into my skin doesn't look help doesn't look heavy or make me look oily or anything like that this is a great moisturizer you should definitely try it if you haven't already next is what I've been using lately at night and is the Maria Badescu seaweed night cream and this one is green so I guess that's from the seaweed they use in it. But this is really good. And I love the way his products smell. Um, it's really thick. I feel like it's great for summer and winter. I can use this very lightly all over my face at night in the summer. But in the winter, I can use maybe just a little bit more of it and apply a little bit more heavily. And it just keeps me completely, just prevents me from getting dry, which I totally need in the winter. So I feel like it's just a really good product year round. I find like I usually need to sort of switch up my products from season to season and I feel like this one I can use year round so I really like it. I love 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 the products from Paracone MD and I only have three of them here but all of the products that I have and I probably have well over 10 of them I love. This one is the Nutritive Cleanser which I use in the morning. I have the Citrus Cleanser which I use at night. Um, I love these. I, they 
feel like the Philosophy Purity Cleansers. They're really gentle feeling on the face, but I feel like it does whatever it's supposed to do. So I know they're a little bit more expensive, but I really like these. And I love that they come with a pump. I pretty much used one pump. Um, if I feel like I had a lot of makeup on that day, I'll go in with two. But especially in the morning, since this is the one I use in the morning, I only use one pump. Next is the Intensive Pore Minimizer. And I like using this one in the morning because I feel like it sort of preps my pores for makeup as well as for not being so oily throughout the day. And I think it's been working. At night, I use... Ugh. I forget which one is the one that I use at night. I think the one I use at night is like a toning one. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. And I'm almost done with it. I probably... Nah, I'm not almost done with it. I probably have about a quarter of the bottle left. I really, really like it. Again, again it's pricey. But it feels really, really good on the skin. It feels gentle. It doesn't feel like it's burning or irritating my skin at all. And I feel like it has been helping with my pores. Especially now in the summer. So I really like that. Next is the Formula 15. Now this is something that... Now this is a product that you can use all around your jawline, your chin. You push it back behind your ears. And you can use it in your crow's feet. It's an anti-aging product. And I like using this one during the day. Because I feel like um, it just helps me look better. Sometimes I'll bring it down my neck and decolletage. Although I have another product that I tend to use for that area. But when I'm sort of trying to rush in the morning, I'll just do everything with this. Um, I can't tell you if it's working, but I, I bring this up because I feel like I'm definitely at an age where I need to start using really sort of intense like anti-aging products. So I've been using this one for a while. I have about, I don't know, three-fourths of the container left. So I pretty much only use one pump when I use this. Um, and I just think it's important uh, when you reach a certain age to start using anti-aging products. I feel like if you use it too early, it doesn't really do much for you but if once you start turning the page at a certain age you really need to start focusing on using these sort of anti-aging products um you don't want to wait too long because then you're really sort of at an age where you're probably more than anything wanting to erase something that's happened versus where i'm at now where i want to prevent the things that are probably about to start happening and that i've started to sort of notice so that's why I bring that one up. But I like all of my products from Dr. Pericone and from Pericone MD. I use a ton of them. Um, really expensive, yes. But I feel like it's definitely effective. And I like the way they feel on my face. I love the way they smell. They're just amazing products. So now let's go to nails. Now this is the base that I've been using pretty much like almost this entire year. This is the Ultra Professional get a grip bonding base coat i really like this one because it kind of makes my nails look um matte and it makes them look uh, like just it gives it makes my nails look even like the color it just like makes it look even it's a really good base for any color you want to put on top of it but it also makes my nails like really matte and because of that i feel like my nail my nail polish that i go over top of it with really bonds to it. I really like this. It's a really good one. This is probably my second or third bottle of this and I already have a backup. So I purchased these at Ulta. They were on sale recently on clearance. I don't know if it's because they changed the packaging um, but I got this in the little like clearance section at Ulta and I bought like four or five of them <laughs> at a time. Um, and as you can tell I'm pretty much almost done with this one but I use this every single time I apply nail polish. And for the last month or two, I think, I've been going in with this as my top coat. Sometimes I'll throw such read over this if I'm in a super rush and I need it to dry very quickly. And I really like this. This is the Nails Ink... What is it called? Caviar Top Coat. This makes my nails super shiny. I love the shine that it gives my nails. And it makes any nail polish that I'm wearing... And it makes any nail polish that I'm wearing really pop. It makes the color really shiny and beautiful. I love this. Really good. This is a little, um, like, deluxe size sample that I got, I think, in a little duo set. I forgot what the other one was. Maybe I think the other one was a base, and I used it up. I think it came with a base. It came with this and, like, a glitter polish. Or maybe this and the glitter. I don't remember. It came definitely with at least another one. Um, I really like it. I think it's really nice. For hairspray, especially now with the summer and humidity, I need to wear hairspray. Um, and I'm wearing this one actually today. And what I love about it is that you can actually comb through it. I'm not one that likes to wear really heavy, like super hold 
hairspray that's just not my thing if I'm gonna wear hairspray which I don't do all the time I need it to be a very light hold something that I can still get my fingers through and I can adjust if I want to then throw it up in a ponytail at the end of the day I can do so and I don't feel like it's super hard and crunchy and it's not gonna cause like little white flakes this is the L'Oreal Elnit. I know a lot of people use it. I like this one. I keep this one. Um, when I get ready in the morning, I'll spray this on and then I'll throw it in my bag. Sometimes I'll leave it at my desk at work. Um, I really like this. It's a really good one. And again, if, if you've done your hair, maybe you don't love the way it looks and you still need to adjust it afterwards, you can brush through this. Really good. My makeup tool that I want to share with you is my eyelash curler. And this is the Shiseido eyelash curler. I really like this. I've been using this for the majority of this year. I had purchased it last year and I think I just kind of forgot about it. And I've decided that I was going to use it this year. And I love it. It really helps to curl my lashes. My, I feel like my eyelashes are really difficult to curl. Um, I just have a hard time with them. And this does a great job at curling my eyelashes before I apply mascara. It's a bit of a pricier to, um, set of eyelash curlers, but I think it's totally worth it. Um, and you can buy the replacement heads like on Amazon. I, I've seen them on Amazon. I'm going to get a few because I'm going to need them. And the last product is the Silk Tanner. It's the Naked Skin Tinted Tan Mousse in Dark. And what I liked about it is that it came with a little mint. And yeah, mine is dirty because I've used this quite a few times. I've cleaned this with um, my bar of soap. I've, I've tried cleaning this with antibacterial soap. I've tried cleaning this with makeup remover. It just doesn't come off. It is what it is. Um, it's not that serious. It's it's what it's for, so it's going to be dirty. Um, I just wish it was a little bit bigger, but I'm now convinced that I should probably use a mitt every time I use a self-tanner. Now, this self-tanner self I like because on my darker, on my tan skin, it's not super stark. I don't wear a self-tanner for it to look obvious that I'm wearing a self-tanner. I, Especially in the summer, it's really, the summer is really the only time I use it. I'll use it in the winter, especially on my legs if I'm wearing like a shorter dress. If I want my legs to just look nice and, you know, any sort of like spots or whatever to look, to be hidden by the self-tanner. And this gives me a little bit of color. Um, I'm sure if you're lighter than me, it will give you a whole lot of color, but because of my skin tone, it doesn't give me a lot of color. It gives me just enough color, and I love it. I don't want to look super um, tan from one day to the next. I, that looks really obvious. I like a very, a very sort of subtle kind of tan, um, mainly on my legs. I'll use it on my arms if I'm showing off my arms at well, as well in my neck and decolletage area. Um, and it's really easy to use. I will pretty much use this the night before, after I get out of the shower, apply it all over my body from the bottom up. And the next morning, I will take a really quick shower just to rinse all this off and get ready for the day. And I feel like it doesn't stain my clothes. It doesn't um, look streaky. It doesn't look as obvious as when you first apply it because it does. it is really tinted. So, it kinda, so you can kind of tell where you're applying it. It doesn't... Um, looks super obvious so I really like it and at first I thought oh it's super messy because it's like a liquidy moussey kind of a thing and I was like oh I don't know if I'm gonna like that but I do and I purchased this one in Ulta so you can use your coupons that you might get from Ulta to buy this um, I think it's a great product and if you're afraid of self tanner definitely give this one a try and if you're my skin tone and want to try something that's not gonna make you look weird because I feel like especially because of my skin tone if I use I feel like certain self-tanners might look a little weird on me because, you know, the colors are just, they can be um, more, some some self-tanners can be a little bit more brown, some can lean a little bit more green, some can lean a little bit more, I guess, red. And that might not be what you want. This just, especially on my skin tone, just gives me a nice subtle little bit of color, especially on my legs when I feel like uh, that's like the area that even if I'm getting sun up on, like if I'm walking around all day and I'm getting, and the sun is hitting me, I'll catch the sun really quickly on my arms and shoulders, my face and decolletage, and, but on my legs, even if, I'm, if, I'm, if I were to be wearing like the shortest of shorts, I feel like they don't get any sun, except my feet. My feet get really dark, like really quickly. I guess because they're constantly facing the sun. So I have really dark feet, I'll have really dark arms, and then my feet look pale. It's like, what the hell is going on? So this is a really great product for that. Definitely give it a try. Don't be afraid to use it. Um, don't use it without a mitt or some sort of gloves because it will stain. And it's pretty hard to get that stain off if you don't get it off right away. Um, and I feel like the application with the mitt is a lot more smooth. It's not streaky even when I wear like latex gloves. Or the one time I did apply with my hands just to kind of see. It didn't apply streaky, but it's just a much cleaner application with the glove. 
So definitely try it with the glove. Uh, oh, I, I have more makeup products. Oh my god, do I have time? Yes, I do. I have more makeup products. I totally forgot about these makeup products. Um, my under eye setting spray, my under eye setting powder. It's from Elf. I've said this. I've mentioned this many times before. I've gone through many containers of this, and I will probably always continue to buy these. These, this is an amazing setting powder for underneath your eyes. It just works really well and doesn't sort of feed until it doesn't sort of settle into the creases of your fine, those fine lines underneath your eyes. So I love it. And though the product for underneath my eyes is this Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. This is like a little deluxe size sample that I got in like a little trio from Smashbox. I am totally buying the full size when I'm done with this. I love this one. For a while I was using the e.l.f. one and I liked it, but this one's so much better, I feel like. And so I'm gonna go to this from now on. Um, my eyeshadow primer has been the Too Faced Shadow Insurance as of late. And I like it. I think it works really, really well. Um, my makeup, my eye makeup does not crease at all when I use this one. So I love it. My mascara combination of the past few months has been my M Mascara from Michelle Phan, this Essence Lash Princess, as well as the CK1 Mascara. These are, this little combination is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I don't know if you're going to be able to really tell on camera, but it really makes my eyelashes look a little bit fuller and much longer, which I love. And then usually for my bottom lashes, I will use the Maybelline Lash Discovery on top of like any one of these that I sort of decide to put underneath my eyes. And that's what I've also done today. And I feel like it definitely makes my lower lashes look a lot more obvious and um, longer. And I, I just, I really like it. So I've been using this combination a lot lately. Next is my Ulta Contour Kit. I really like it. I don't find that really anyone talks about it, but I like it. I use it for... A more I feel like it gives you a more natural contour um, it's pretty cheap and affordable from Ulta so I would never I don't think I'll ever buy like the Anastasia one even though I want it I don't think I will and for my under eyes I've been using this a lot and this is the NYX HD finishing powder in I think it's banana and it's like their pressed sort of highlighting powder and I love this pretty much for underneath the eyes like in this area right here sometimes I'll put it underneath my nose my top lip um, I think it's a great highlighting powder. Pretty affordable and it doesn't sort of um, fall into my pores and, and make me look, make them look more obvious. So I really, really like that. Well, that's it everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. If you love these types of favorites videos, then please give my video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.